Hello everyone, today we are going to take a look at the uh, Xiaomi scooter that uh, it's uh, no longer turning on. Uh, this is uh, almost brand new, it only has something like uh, 10 kilometers done. And it's not only not turning on, but uh, it will also not charge. Uh, probably meaning that the internal battery has been uh, over depleted, uh, over discharged. Uh, this was uh, sitting for uh, probably more than six months uh, and the user haven't charged it nor has uh, verified the state of charge so we are going to take a look at the battery and now we are going to remove the cap And now we are going to do a quick check. It's interesting that the battery is still uh, alive and that means uh, the cell sh should still have some current left which you hope that it still does and I'm going to remove the discharge plug and I'm going to use my voltage tester here. I hope that you can see it. So I'm going to connect the battery here and let's hope for some voltage and we get a very low voltage considering this is a 36 volt battery this is super discharged uh, and that's why it will not charge again hopefully that's the only problem of this battery so we need to try to make it uh, work again all right, so I have connected these two probes here and they go to my uh, DC power supply here. The DC power supply is made out of uh, two independent sources and you can put them in series. So if I have 3.3 volts here and 3.3 volts here, I'm actually outputting 6.6 volts. And now I'm going to slowly increase the voltage and go over 30 volts. And I'm going to monitor this current output here and see if it increases or not. I don't want to go over 35, 36 volts. And look at that, it has just started to output current. And now it's at 31 total volts. So it's uh, taking one amp. And if you look at the BMS LED there, uh, let me turn off the lamp. You can see it's now also blinking blue, which means that it has uh, started to take a charge. But I'm going to leave it charging like this uh, with a limited voltage and a limited current. And I'm going to try to keep it under one amp uh, at, for at least when uh, the total voltage will be around 33, 34, maximum 35 volts but I'm not going to exceed the charge current so I'm going to wait now for a bit and now we have this uh, other type of flashing red LED which should mean normal charging and I guess if I disconnect now my power supply and put the original charger it should uh, start charging so I'm going to do that right now so let's see now uh, here's the charger, the battery is at 32 volts and I'm going to connect the charger and the voltage is increasing and we have red light and success and now the battery will start charging normally as it should uh, you might say that this is very dangerous because lithium ion should never be over discharged well actually the battery, the BMS will completely shut down and turn off the power at around uh, 2.8 volts 2.9 volts per cell so that's why when I have jump started the battery it had started from 30 volts so the cells were actually not over discharged but put on a kind of a sleep and now this wakes up the BMS and uh, uh, start to charge this up uh, the cells so this type of cells uh, are very good quality are, uh, some of them are made by LG and there is another second batch but uh, also of very high quality and they can actually be discharged uh, down to 2.5 volts per cell so there is no problem if these cells have 
went down to 2.8 volts in my case so the battery is actually fine and haven't suffered any kind of damage and now I'm going to leave it to charge normally until full and then uh, the happy user will be able to ride this uh, scooter again.